In the previous couple of Grassy Academy YouTube videos, we've been looking at distributing identical objects between distinct boxes. Now we're going to be looking at distributing identical objects in between identical boxes. Um, these questions, if you get them, and if you can do them um, properly, are very easy and very quick. The main reason people get them wrong is because they get the, the question mixed up between this question, which is JE Main Jan 2024, arranging eight identical books into four identical shelves, and the more common question, which is arranging eight identical books into four distinct shelves. We've already dealt with this one in a previous video, now we're going to do this one here. But the best way of getting this one right is to make sure that you understand that it's different from this one. And there's actually a little sub-question here, which is the number of ways 8 can be written as a sum of 4 integers greater than or equal to 0, which is called integer partitioning. That is identical question to that, and it is different from this question, the number of 4 tuple integer vx, yz, which satisfy v plus x plus y plus z equals 8, which is identical to that. All of this is to do with whether the uh, the boxes uh, or shelves are identical or distinct. In these two, they're distinct, and in these two, they're identical. So let's just very quickly do this one, and it will be quickly because it's quite simple. We're going to use stars and bars. So we've got eight identical books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and we've got to put them into four distinct shells so we're going to use stars and bars with three bars here uh, and then basically as we've dealt, uh, discussed in previous videos that will be n minus m n plus m minus one uh, c m minus one which in this case will be eight plus four minus one eleven c three which equals eleven times ten times nine over six which equals one six five so the answer to this question and there's only one word different here the answer to that question is 165. The answer to this question, because it's identical to that question, and it will be answered in exactly the same way, is also 165. So now that we can see that's how to do it when they're distinct, how do we do it this way? Okay, well actually all we've got to do is list the different ways of arranging eight identical books into four identical shells, or alternatively, with the alternate question, the number of ways that we can write eight as a sum of four integers greater than or equal to zero. Um, so what we're going to do is we um, start off by looking at, well, hang on, if three shelves are empty, how many ways can we uh, distribute the eight identical books between the four identical shells? Well, it's eight zero 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 that's it there's only one possibility and by the way if it was distinct shelves then we would have eight zero 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 eight zero 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 eight zero and zero 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 eight if it's distinct shelves if it's identical shelves we only have one so what about two shelves empty well, if two shelves are empty, how can we distribute eight identical books between the four shelves? Well, if with two shelves empty, we've got 7100 zero, zero, or 6200 zero, zero, or 5300. Zero, zero. Remember, we're not bothered about order because they're identical shelves or 4400. Zero, zero. So that is a total of four. And that one there is, is one. OK, what about if there's one shelf empty? OK, well, if there's one shelf empty... Uh, let's have a think. 6110, 4, 3, 3, 2, 0, which is five possibilities. And finally, let's have a look if we have zero shelf empty. Well, then we would only have 5, 1, 1, 1. Four two one one three three one one three two two one or two 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 two, uh, which is another five. So basically, the answer to the question is five add five add four add one. The answer to the question is fifteen. So it is a very simple question as long as you know that when you got identical books into identical shelves, then you have to literally just list all of the possibles and when you got identical books into distinct shells you use stars and bars now one other thing let's imagine that this question was uh, for example the number of ways of arranging eight identical books into four identical shelves where each shelf must have at least one book 
for example, well, actually, it's exactly the same because if each shelf must have at least one book, then it's basically just those ones. So the answer would have been five. Uh, if they said where a maximum of two shelves can be empty, well, then it would be four, add five, add five. So listing the possibilities like this means that you can actually answer questions where this bit here is slightly different uh, just as easily and by an identical method. And by the way, that is exactly the same method to how you would do that. The number of ways eight can be written as a sum of four integers is all of these. We've already listed them all. So the answer to that one obviously is 15 as well, because it is the same question as that. Um, well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please uh, like this video by uh, pressing the little thumbs up button at the bottom uh, and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.